you for visiting Las Vegas, and thank you to all of you that are here to take part in this event. Thanks. I'll now turn it over to Commissioner McCurry. <laughs> um, because, as you know, there has been a lot to go on uh, throughout history, not only history in America, but history in Las Vegas. And again, for the second year in a row, we are turning this iconic sign uh, red, black, green, and yellow in honor and in recognition of Black History Month. To honor the contributions of Africans and American, Black Americans, and the entire diaspora in the United States of America. We honor our ancestors, those who have came before us, who have blazed the trail, and who have made sure that we have all that we have today, not only to occupy for this moment, but to build upon for the lives of future generations. Today and every day this month, we are called to focus on their journey, on their struggles, on their successes. Because to be clear, black history is American history. It is a history of overcoming obstacles and embracing the failures of this nation. It is a history of understanding that we have much more work to do before we can get to a place where we truly can celebrate being black in America. Yeah. It is truly an idea that we have that we should be based, judged and based on the content of our character, but not the color of our skin, like the late great Dr. Martin Luther King said. And it is also true that with the time that we have left, that we occupy space, that we take agency over ourselves, and we contribute all of our talents and our treasures to making this beautiful city and this beautiful nation achieve its highest values. Yes. So that the future generations can look back and see the path that we took. So that they can see the trail that we are blazing. So they can find inspiration in the things that we have done. So they can follow our footprints and understand what their responsibilities are with the time that they will have on this earth. And it is so fitting that we have our most recognizable landmark here with us to be able to celebrate this amazing month, which is Black History Month. I want to invite my colleague, and I'm putting him on the spot a little bit, but he is a man that speaks from the heart, and he has been my ally on the Board of County Commissioners and I want him to offer just a few words. He is here with his beautiful daughter. And please put your hands together for Commissioner Michael Knapp. Good evening. Thank you so much, Commissioner McCurdy. I am just so proud to get to serve with you and to learn from you and to uh, learn from everybody who is here today, um, not just about the, the significance of the black community here in Southern Nevada, but across the United States and, and all that has been done. And you talked about the legacy. There's a lot of legacies right here in this space to be worth celebrating. And we've got labor leaders right over here. We've got, we've got, uh, and we've got labor leaders right over there too. <laughs> we've got some incredible people here to help make this occasion particularly memorable. And Olivia and I are just proud to be here to get to support you, Commission. Thank you for all joining this community and in, uh, in turning this iconic sign in recognition of black history. Thank you. And at this time, uh, I would like to bring uh, forward Rachel from the Las Vegas Urban League Young Professionals our, for our first recognition of leaders doing the right thing in our community. Let's give Rachel a round of applause. And we would like to recognize her. Hi, everyone. Thank you for having me here today. Um, I am the president of the Las Vegas Urban League Young Professionals. Um, we've been here for a very long time in this community doing a lot of great work, so we are so pleased to be honored today, and I'm here to accept it on behalf of all the young professionals in Las Vegas, so thank you very Woo! much. Woo! Woo! The African diaspora of Las Vegas. Uh, the African diaspora of Las Vegas represents more than 20 countries of African descent uh, living in Las Vegas. Each and every day their members and their leadership strive to provide the local diaspora with the resources they need to succeed and improve their quality of life. This support includes educational assistance, mentorship, employment assistance, and immigration support and more. 
and we gotta put an underscore on economic assistance as well because we are building businesses and we're building them big. Please join me in showing our appreciation to the African diaspora of Las Vegas who supports those in our community that give so much to all of us. Please come forward, Jenny and the African Thank you, everyone. Um, I don't want to regurgitate what he said, but we are a nonprofit organization here um, registered in the state of Nevada. We have over 30 countries, I think we're at 32 countries mobilized, which is awesome. Uh, we're your cab drivers, we're your hotel workers, we're in the community uh, embedded and we're grateful and excited to be able to serve um, our community and also contribute to the state of Nevada. So thank you so much. All right, next we have up uh, uh, some gentlemen who I've had an opportunity to, to hang out and turn up with a little bit. Uh, they're doing great work uh, in the entertainment industry. Uh, Akeem Bradley and the entire PM Entertainment team. PM Entertainment is a local business that has hosted countless events around Clark County, including concerts and community projects. Uh, they help six local businesses rebrand themselves to succeed in increasingly competitive markets. Uh, PM Entertainment, through their PME Awards initiative, also highlights small businesses and entrepreneurs throughout our valley. PM Entertainment is all about bringing people together, uh, leveraging innovative tools, technology, and tactics in doing so. Please join me in recognizing the entire PM Entertainment team this evening. tonight. I want to thank y'all for, for letting us come out this evening. Um, I'm born and raised here. I love the city, um, but I'm nothing without my brothers and my sisters that, that helps out uh, with the movement. And of course, we're the, the culture curators of the city. Uh, so we're just trying to make our impact um, loud and bright through entertainment. And we understand that, that music is the catalyst uh, to bring togetherness. So thanks again. Thank you, William McCarty. Thank you to my family, and thank you to everybody here. So, uh, as you can see, the lights came on, but we're not going to pay attention to that. We're still going to flip that switch. Uh, but next up, <laughs> we're going to recognize Expertise Cosmetology Institute. Uh, Ms. Wendelin, uh, we love the work that she does in our community, and the Cosmetology Institute, and we want to recognize them and their entire team and all that they do to give back to so many in our community. With two locations in Clark County, expertise offers a bilingual education that can lead to financial independence uh, for six successful graduates and the tools needed to get their piece of the pie uh, of the $45 billion beauty industry. Expertise recently partnered with the Raiders to offer free haircuts to kids in our community before they went to back to school. Uh, and I am so honored to have you here. We're honored for your family being in the community and working so hard. So please put your hands together for Ms. Gwendolyn of Expertise Cosmetology. Thank you, Commissioner McCurdy and your team. I just want to say thank you um, to the entire um, Clark County and Commissioner McCurdy um, for allowing us, and I'm here to accept this award on the behalf of my late um, great mother that instilled um, cosmetology that instilled a business, community, and leadership in all of her children and expertise is the first uh, cosmetology African American owned school in the state of Nevada. So, uh, if there's anyone that is blocking the exit on, up on the south end, uh, we need you to move your car because there there's a bus that needs to leave. So if you're blocking the exit on the south end of the, the parking lot, please move your car. All right. All right. Next up, we have uh, Mr. Robert Twix Taylor. Uh, this honor is, is someone that almost needs no introduction. Robert Twix Taylor is the owner of Fatal Mall Barber Shops, 
uh, with multiple locations throughout Clark County. He opened his first business at the age of 23 and has employed over 300 people throughout his multiple business ventures. He is a son of North Las Vegas, a member of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, and in addition to his entrepreneurial spirit, is recognized for his love for his community. And just in December, his efforts blessed over 300 kids in North Las Vegas with kids and with, with toys and gifts for the holidays. And it's so incredible to see all the work that Twix is doing. Please put your hands together for Robert Twix Taylor. Uh, we appreciate you and all the work that you do. Is there a representative on behalf of Robert Twix Taylor? But I don't know if he's here. Uh, Zeta sisters, y'all in the house? Okay, all right. So we just gonna we just gonna give that award to Miss Asha Jones, and uh, we'll make sure that Twix get his award. We also are recognizing Housing Assistance Corp. Uh, Mr. Christopher McCray with Housing Assistance Corporation has been doing a lot of work in the community. It is a community-based nonprofit that partners with innovative developers, marketing professionals, and government officials who look to reshape the idea of affordable housing in Las Vegas. Through their Beautify the Block initiative, the Housing Assistance Corp assists, assists homeowners in beautifying their homes uh, throughout uh, underserved communities many of whom are seniors who do not have the physical capabilities to maintain the upkeep of their homes. These beautification efforts recruit the entire community to come out to participate, volunteer, have fun, and throw block parties while we're improving the community. Please join me in recognizing Mr. Christopher McCray and the Housing Assistant Corp uh, for all their efforts in the community. <laughs> Christopher McCready makes up this world. We have housing assistance. Thank you guys for supporting us. That's it. <laughs> 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 All right, let's give Mr. Christopher McCready a round of applause. Next, we're going to invite up Mr. Tyler Gaston of Gas Station Studios, <laughs> who is the visionary behind Gas Station Studios, right off of Losey and Carey. And I'd like to ask him to come up at this time. They are a creative development center offering services for digital and audio production. They are the first of their kind in North Las Vegas. They engage youth and its system in entering the digital production industry. Training and inspiring the next generation is incredibly important. And it's very uh, critical that we build up that talent. Please join me in recognizing Gas Station Studios for their work. kind of cold to be talking out here. <laughs> uh, on behalf of the Gas Station Studios, everybody, I'm Tyler Gas and I'm also Gas. We are the owner of the first creative development center and film studio in North Las Vegas history. And I'd like to leave you guys with this, my fellow young entrepreneurs. If you are not too young to be shot down in the streets, you are not too young to live and live abundantly. All right. Woo! So as a testament to all the young boys and, and young princes and princesses that grew up just like I grew up, it can happen. Keep creating and keep developing and keep growing. Thank you. All right. All right. So this is the moment that we've all been waiting for. Um, if you're here for the sound, buddy, you come on behind us uh, and we're going to flip this switch and we're going to get this shot and we're going to celebrate this moment in history for our second annual sign lighting. Um, and if you're here, come on back. We're going to get you all in the shot. Jordan. Jordan. <laughs> if you have a black Jeep with a uh, Catholic license plate or educator on it, you need to move your car. Black Jeep. I think I just stand up today. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I have someone that's here with us today. I want to introduce you all, all the way from the Bahamas, the ambassador of cultural affairs. Uh, His Excellency, uh, Jamal Wall, is here with us. So we're going to give him a shout out. We're going to thank you for joining us.
They want to be us. <laughs> they want to be us. Back, 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 back. Go back. I'll go more. Going, 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 going. No one's in there. Behind the screen. Yep, behind the screen. Behind the screen. Behind the screen. Let's get in the front. Okay? Let's go. 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 Let's go.